what's up guys and welcome back to part eight if you've seen part seven i stopped where i was trying to cut the chain and remove the batten shaft assembly but after doing a few stuff um i realized that i needed some e-sockets uh for certain bolts and i was recommended to also just go ahead and do the bsr kit so i went ahead and did that and we finally have it I'll show you guys. All right, so I finally went ahead and cleaned up a little bit here. But as you already know, here's the oil return line. I went ahead and got the e-sockets, which you can see the difference. And it's the 14, I believe, that we're going to be using. So hopefully we cut the chain today in this video and remove the balance shaft assembly and here's the BSR kit everything is still up in here and I want to go ahead and give a shout out to Gustavo from Orlando thanks to you I got this within like a day and a half pretty much it arrived pretty quick and here it goes this is from what i've seen this is the top one this is the bottom one we got everything we need usually you use the same bolt for all this all these spacers and that's pretty much it so my goal for today is just going to be cut the chain finally remove the assembly if we get to it and it doesn't give us too much problem and then hopefully after that i really need to clean that pan the edge of it and the edge of the upper pan as well if i get to that i will be just super happy with that for today a shine a light under there get under and get to work all right, so let's start by removing this oil pan. It still has a little bit of oil and setting it somewhere else. Also, grab the two bolts for the oil pickup tube and set that to the side as well with the oil pan. this to the side and get to work all right so safety first because i always have the worst luck when it comes to debris and dust falling into my eyes so all right so let's see hopefully you guys have a good view there all right so i still haven't removed the little cover here to the chain all due to that uh, wonderful bolt that they have blocked there um i think i'm just gonna go ahead and bend that honestly because it's not going to be used again. So it was just a slight bend. I don't know if I actually bend the bolt itself. Well, yeah, I can tell, I can see the bend. But anyways, we're not gonna end up using that anyways. And did I get the other one off? Let's see, I think I did. All right. If I remember correctly, I think you start prying it out. I think. Oh, where's that? Yeah, I think there's that other one too. Anyways, there we go. All right. 
Get that stupid cover off. Man. Okay. Next, you get yourself a 10 socket and wrench, and that's gonna be for the chain guide down here. And then you hold up here so that nothing moves and correct that loose once it's loose you can do it by hand not that uh tight it's just not an issue of like getting it loose all right so there we go let's set that aside so that we don't lose that and then try and pry the guide off little by little there we go Oh. Here's the bottom guide. Damn. I think I should leave that oil pan there just to try and catch some of that. But anyways, let's keep this bolt <laughs> and this together. Let me you know what, let me get the pan. I don't want it to cost like a huge part of there, even though the, the rug will absorb it, but still. All right, so right now all we have to do is cut the chain and hopefully that goes well. I already have the bolt cutter with me. Oh, brand new. Well, let's see how this goes. Let's start cutting this chain. So I'm still here struggling. Let's open this up. Cut finally. Jesus. <laughs> All right, let me see if you guys can see right there. It's finally cut. All right, so finally removing the chain. That was a pretty long chain. I didn't think it was going to be that long. There we go. And we're done. Just like that. Come on. Focus. Anyways. is out finally and we can uh, move on to removing the, the whole assembly now let's see how that goes all right so we're gonna go ahead and crack these loose It'll be left okay holy shit okay yeah, let's see if I can do it towards me because I really do not want to. Holy shit, that is tight as hell. Whew. Ah, Alright. We wonder if 
freaking do this. Here we are. Alright. We got that one. Okay. Holy shit. I think I'm gonna need a little bit of a <laughs> All right. I'm gonna use a bar for more extension, more leverage. That way it becomes easier because holy crap. These things are tight as hell, man. Okay, hold up. All right. And here we go. All right, there goes the second one. Loosen it up a little bit more. All right, good. All right, right in here is the third one. All right. Let's see how this goes. the third one and that fourth one I have to feel for it right yep there we go right here there we go okay Man, these things are seriously, seriously tight. There we go. Boom. Let's get that. Electric one. Get this thing out of here. Where's the... Let's keep this moving. Alright, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is try and keep these in order. Put them back in the same spot they came out of. So, I'll lay them over here in the position they came out of. up before I put them down keep destroying my freaking floor
like my bad. Alright, so if I remember correctly, we just gotta wiggle this out of here now. Oh wait, and we also have that tensioner we need to get out of here, but I think if I remove this, it's gonna be a lot easier. So, let's go ahead and try and get this, get this out. This one can be a bitch. All right, this one's gonna take a while. Damn. Oh, I'm gonna get super dirty right now. I'm gonna have to. All right. All right. We'll get back to back to this one some further. All right. Let's see if we're at that uh, point. I took the tensioner off. Um, they say you have to use one of these right here with the bend, but this one goes, like it bends way too much to reach that 10, um, 10 millimeter bolt that's above the tensioner. So I just took a screwdriver, wedge it in between up like that between the balance shaft assembly and the um, tensioner and just, you know, Kind of twisted it to the side and it snapped off the bolt. So right here, it's going to be like this. Pretty much. It sits like that. I just wedged the flathead behind here. And just pried on it. And it snapped off the top. Which, that's going to give me. And it snapped off really easy. I was really surprised about that. Um, so... That should give me the space now to move this around, you know? That's crazy. Um, so they say you could remove this like this, you just gonna have a hard time Man. how the hell I'm thinking of just removing all of these I think those are 10 as well and trying to pry this half of half of this because this is what bothers right here so let's see where all right so we're just gonna go ahead 
crack these open too, see if I can get that bottom half of it. So I can get enough space over here at this side and wiggle it out. Cause right now I'm not having too much, too much luck right now. So I'd rather just open this. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six of them removed. Now, let's see if I can take this flathead and pry it out too. There we go. Come on. I'm surprised. It pried open like stupid easy. Um, yeah. Come on. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> oh man. There's always something. Should have made it easier. Maybe I need to hold these up. I don't know if that'll help, but. Oh my god. 
Ah.